Frig, I'm gonna have to get a knife out for this job. Darn it. Oh, hey, how you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Friggin' right I am. Guess what? We got a whole bunch of different things going on here right now we do. So I'll just kind of explain what's going on and you can kind of see if you can understand what I'm even freaking talking about because I'm half cocked over and I don't know what the hell's really going on at the time, so. Thanks to Steve at work here, he had a, a throttle body repair kit he did. So we got that from him. We got him an extra uh, spacer McDobbin here, which I don't need because I got one here and it's already bored out to bore match the throttle body I got. And if you want to know, last time I was going to show you the differences there. Here's the differences between the bores. Wait a minute, that's not going to tell you anything. Where's the other one? Yeah. Here's the differences between the bore size on these throttle bodies. A little bit better angle than angle there. You kind of get the idea. Quite a bit bigger. Right, right it is. So what I'm doing right now is I needed a screw to hold on this thing. So Steve had a couple extra throttle bodies here, as you see, because mine broke off because it's all cocked over. So I got, a, I got another screw from Steve, went to put it in my new throttle body and it broke off, it thread locked, like that. So I drilled it out already, but we gotta still get an easy out and get that out. So in the meantime, I'm taking another gasket and I'm matching up another gasket to port match a sucker. Because as you see, it's not port matched. Frick. So we'll just draw ourselves a little line here, a little liney poo, and we'll draw ourselves another liney poo here because for some reason this one didn't port match the way it was supposed to. And we'll cut her out with a blade. This is how I do it. I know you probably don't give two shits, but this is how we do it. Captain. We'll take it and we'll just, oh man, tighten up the blade first of all. And we'll just fall, we'll just trim her off. I can't see nothing, my eyes are dick. Let's go to this one. This one I can see a little bit, maybe, maybe not. Let's try going back here, there we go. So we'll just trim around. Let's take your time when you're doing this, of course. You don't want to dick her over, if you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect. So there we go. Those holes should be pretty close. I might have to do a little bit of trimming, but yeah, see, for the most case, they're pretty good. So we're gonna trim a little bit more back on this one right here, so we'll do that right now. There we go. Perfect. There it is. So now we got one for the top and one for the bottom. Beauty. So now that's ready to go. So we set that aside. I ordered myself an adjustable regulator for the throttle body also. So we will be taking this apart to put an adjustable regulator on, which this one does not have, or does it have? You can't tell. No, no adjustable, but see how it's got a hole there? That's so you can put an adjustable regulator in. If you didn't know, now you do. Is this mine? I hope that's mine. What the hell's going on here? How many do I have out? That's pretty clean, so that's gotta be mine. Yeah, that's mine. Okay. Some of you have to drill a hole through here to adjust it, but this one has a hole already. So we're in good shape on this one, actually. I think. There we go. How come I'm having a mind blank here? We're good. Yeah, we are. We're good. Okay. Decent. So unfortunately, the thing about these adjustable regulators is they're not cheap. They're about $92, but because I'm going to a, an engine that needs a little bit more petrol, we gotta put a bigger regulator in it, we do. That's just, comes with the territory. And plus the throttle body's bigger, so you want some more injection. So hopefully that will come in and then we'll be able to get that reassembled. I'm gonna have to pull it all apart anyways. So I'm glad I have a gas kit here because we're probably gonna need it now. I don't know what the hell's going on here to be honest with you. So this must be the top, right? Top one. Nope. This must be the top one. Yeah, so that's that one. And then we got a new little, little puffy puffy thing there. So once we get that, we'll take it apart. I ain't taking it apart until 
I get the piece that comes in. So I'll just set that back over there for now and we'll leave it together until the rest of the stuff comes in because if I take it apart now, it's just gonna cock very over. So let's not cock ourselves over too fast here. So we'll set that over there like that. Set that over there. We'll easy out that. Actually, I guess set this aside too because I don't want that with that because I gotta take this into work tomorrow so I can easy out that broke off stud and then that will be ready to go. So there we go. So now I know what I'm doing, maybe. Probably not. Confusing myself. They've also gave me a little shaft that we can throw in the transmission so it'll get training fluid everywhere. So that's a good thing. Oh, I did drain the rad fluid. Sorry about that. I didn't take you long for the ride on that one because I just wanted to do it nice and quietly. And there was somebody doing construction across the road and would have cocked over my video, but there you go. Look at her. Water pumps off, drained. I don't know if I show you that or not. Rides out. Water pumps off. Yeah. Things are looking up here. I'm gonna undo, try to undo this. Get this pump out of the way. Maybe I should do that right now. Let's do that together right now. Can you see? Probably not. Oh yeah, you can see. Light. Useless light, I should say. Useless light, check. We're gonna get fluid everywhere, check. Actually, I'm not dressed for this right now. I changed my mind. Let's do this later. We could have took that out right now, but we're not gonna do that right now. Because oh. it's Wednesday night and I'm tired. So we'll do that another day. How you like that apple? Pretty good. So down in the comments below, let me know if you want to see this throttle body come together and back assembled. Because I'll take you along for the ride. Why wouldn't I? I got all three holes here. Clear. Clear. Not so clear. Now it's clear. We might want to blow them out. Remind me that. Oh, Frank, yeah, we do. Yeah, let's make sure we blow them out before we assemble this thing or it won't do nothing. I'm not going to do it now because there's no point because we're going to be a while before we put it in. So we'll blow them out before we put it together. That's what I say. Friggin' right, that's what I say. Pretty decent. Steve got back to me. Sure can. Friggin' right again. Thanks, Stevie. He's bringing them easy out to work tomorrow. I think I might have told you that already, but. There you go, Joe. Man, oh man, this is gonna be awesome. I also gotta get another one of these fittings with a little bong in the side so I can run a fuel pressure gauge so we know what the heck we're adjusting the regulator at because we have gotta know that. We do. I've got myself my pond heater for the winter. Look, at it looks like a little rock. I don't know if I showed you that or not. 300 watt little pond heater. That can go in the bottom. I got my little bubbler. So that's good, the pond's ready to go. Got the back of the truck full of goodies. Oh, there's a box of goodies that Steve gave me. Look at all the extra throttle bodies in there and this and that and the other friggin' things. A couple of friggin' distributors. Should have just got one of Steve's distributors and slapped her in. But we end up getting a new distributor. I got the uh, Spectra distributor this time. So we took the other one back, we took her back, and we got ourselves a Spectra. So there's a new distributor for the brand new engine. So that should be decent. Hopefully, should be decent. But other than that, that's an update. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. We'll be back soon.